All right, I'm Felix Drifishu from Carnegie Mellon University. Um, in this talk, I'm going to uh, introduce our work on local battery CNNs. This is a joint work with Vishnu Naresh Bodetti from Michigan State and Mario Savitas from CMU. CNNs are overwhelmingly powerful with abundant training data and abundant computational resources. Then what about training CNN models on a resource-constrained environment, resource being data or computation resources? In this paper, we propose local battery CNN, which aims at, number one, statistical efficiency, with significant parameter savings and the ability to learn from much fewer training samples. Number two, computation efficiency, primarily due to sparse com bionic convolution. And number three, with performance comparable to standard CNNs. So the uh, new LBC layer is inspired by the LBP. There are several parameter settings that lead to different LBP configurations, such as the choice of base and pivot, and ordering of the encoding neighbors. We'll generalize these factors in a learnable framework for LBCNN. The LBP operation is naturally convolutional. Step one is to compute difference between the pivot and neighboring pixels, which is convolution with binary filters. Step two, the bitmap thresholding is equivalent to a nonlinear activation. Step three, the weighted sum of the bitmaps can also be considered convolution. In a standard CNN layer, the input volume is convolved with learnable real value convolutional filters and then go through a nonlinearity. In, in LB CNN, the input volume is convolved with fixed, sparse, predefined binary convolutional filters that are not learned, followed by a nonlinearity. We'll then invoke learnable one by one convolutional filters for combining the various bitmaps as the final feature map already for the next layer. So the fixed LBC filters are stochastic stochastically generated with sparse binary weights. The convolution can be extremely efficient by addition and subtraction operations. We have shown theoretically that a proposed LBCNN layer is a good approximation of the standard CNN layer. This is also empirically verified. The small scale experiments are carried out on MNIST, SVHN, and CIFAR 10. Performance of ResNet with LBC layer is on par with the state of the art. Moreover, with significant parameter savings, we are able to train LBCNN with over 8,000 layers on a single Titan X. If we share, if we share the same dictionary of LBC filters across all layers, we can have further default saving in model size, where D is the depth of the network. Our experiments demonstrate negligible difference in performance between LBCNN with and without shared filters. Empirically, we have observed that LBCNN has the following properties. Number one, it can be trained on much smaller size data set without overfitting due to much smaller model complexity. Number two, it converges faster than standard CNNs via our observations on many visual data sets. Finally, our large scale experiments are carried out on the ImageNet data set where we observe that AlexNet with LBC layers performs as well as, well as AlexNet with standard CNN layers while having 6.6 .6 times fewer learnable parameters. To conclude, the LBCNN provides an excellent trade-off between real-valued standard CNNs and purely binary CNNs. Please come to our poster for more information. We are at poster number one, and the code is available. Thank you so much.